Hi everybody! In today's video, we're going to work on the edit form. So we're going to look at how can we edit items that come from the customer's gallery. So let's dive into it. Okay, now what we're going to do is basically configure the edit button for this gallery. Okay, so to do that, let me create a new screen. I'm going to just replicate one of the screens that we already have. And let me rename this screen. It's going to be the customer edit screen. We are basically replicating in order to reuse some of the control that already we have in, in that existing screen, right? So I'm changing the name to edit the screen. This form is not, a, we are not going to use that form. So we just remove that. The same with these icons. I don't want to use those icons. Okay, and uh, let me just add an additional icon, which is going to be used to, to send, to, to submit the item, right? Um, I'm going to change the color of this button. It's going to be white. Okay, great. Now, <clears throat> let me do the following. I'm going to click on insert and this time I'm going to use a different form. This is going to be the edit form. So similar to the, the customer details form, but in this case it's going to sh show me uh, an edit form. So I select the data source, which is customers. Uh, and for the item, uh, we can do something similar, right? Remember that we are going to show the value from the selected item of this gallery. So I go back to the screen, select the, the form. Let me select this form. And in the item, well, I'm going to use the customers uh, gallery point selected. OK. So it was easy. Now you can see that we are showing the values from the, the item who have been selected on, on the gallery. That's what. If we go back and we select another one, uh, we can do the same. But this time we are going to change the value of the, the how the, some of the properties of this button because on the on select we want to navigate to this new screen. So this time just going to specify this. I'm going to click on one of them. So for example, this particular customer, I click on the edit button and this is going to open this new screen with the values that have been selected previously, right? We can do the same for any of the items of this gallery. So you can see here how, how it's showing all the values that we need. And now we can do some customizations, right? It's, it's similar to what we did with the, the display form. Uh, in the edit fields, let me change, for example, the columns. I'm just going to show a couple of columns. I'm, again, going to remove some of the field that I don't want to use here. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to remove uh, um, these fields that show the, the email of the of the role members from the team. And I'm just going to add this particular uh, data card, custom data card to basically resize the form, put on some order. Okay, let me uh, unblock the values. Again, this is really similar to what we did before, right? Uh, and let me put the text of this item is going to be the customer name instead of title, which is the default value that comes from the SharePoint list. Um, again, for each of the fields, if we want to do some, some customization, we need to unblock that fields. Let me now rename this form. It's important to rename not, all, not only the controls, but also the forms that we're going to use. This is going to be the edit customers form. Great. And now the idea is what, that when I click on this icon, I want to submit this form, uh, basically the values to this, to its form, to its corresponding data source, in this case, to the SharePoint list. So to do some tests, uh, let's change the value of the customer name. For example, let's add one, two, three. Yes, as, as a test. So when I click, 
this button I am submitting this value, basically the whole item to the list. And actually you can see that it has been refreshed, right? Now um, we can you we can do some addition, additional adjustment. For example, on the on success event, I want to this is for the uh, on success event for the form, right? I want to go back to the home screen. So basically what I'm doing is if I actually send in the item without any error, I want to go back to the home screen. So if we do a change here, four, five, six, and I click on the submit button, everything was okay. So I go back to the home screen and now we can see that the value has been updated. Now the idea is also to update the rest of the items, right? But instead of using this text box, we obviously want to change that with a drop down, right? Because the region, in the case of the region, as well as the country and industry, we want to select from a, from a, a specific list of items. So it's important again to rename the, the, these uh, controls. Uh, and after we rename, we need to solve some of the issues, right? Because we remove a, a, a field. Now we need to change, for example, the update property because uh, this time I'm going to send the value that has that is going to be selected from the drop down. And we need to also change these values that uh, that in the before was specified uh, the original field, but now he needs to be specified the name of this new control. Right. We need to do uh, now we need to change, for example, the, the, the item. So we can copy that from the home screen and reuse the, what we already did in the home screen, right? We With this function, we are just showing the list of uh, regions uh, ordered by title or by name, basically, right? We select the value that we want to show and really easy, we just show the list of regions. So it's going to be easier for me to to select and update the values and we are going to do exactly the same for the country we can copy and paste the same for industry we basically need to do some adjustment basically rename the the these controls so in this case for example is going to be ddwn country edit or yeah and for this one is going to be ddwn industry edit It's important to do this change. Okay, cool. Uh, I think um, I made a mistake here. Is not DDWN co customer. Is not DDWN country, right? Okay. So now we can do the same that we did with the other field. We need to change the update, the update uh, if, uh, property, right? And the same for this this section that has it, it basically by default is specifying the value, the original value of the field. But we, since we remove that control and we are adding a new control, we need just to change the, change the name, right? In the update uh, property, basically we're specifying the value that we are sending to the backend, that we are sending to the data source. Let me do that change again. Okay. Yeah, it looks better now, but now we obviously need again to, to show the specific list of items. So we can, since we already did that in the home screen, we can just copy the, the formula, right? For the country, it's going to be this one in the items uh, property. We just paste the formula that we already built. But remember that we, well, in this case, we need to change this value, the this, this uh, validation, because we are basically filtering the countries by the region and in the case of industry it's going to be the same we can copy and paste it here cool excellent so now we show the regions filter it uh, the country filtered by the regions and the list of industries that's great okay um now let's go and select an addition one of the existing items for example let's uh, change the industry of this customer uh, 
I click energy so now we can see we have changed that by energy uh, also you can see that the flag has been has changed because we by default had a, another value selected we need to use, do some adjustment here but this is just to show you that when I select any different value um, let me for example also change the name we are changing the region, the country, the industry and the name and all of those changes have been submitted successfully to the backend right now let me do uh, an additional change we need to change the default value right so the default value needs to be the value that comes from the source in this case from the customers list so i first need to validate the the form mode if the form mode is in edit mode basically when i open this form is we are editing an item uh, we are going to show that this default value so we need we use the look at method to basically do some uh, look at through our existing list SharePoint list of regions right so we need to specify that condition so show me basically the regions where this the title is equal to the 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 region name of this item right and the result that i'm going to show is the title because we can also specify a different field right but the, the lookup is basically the validation that we're just doing and if not we're going to use we're going to show yes a blank value so we see that uh, this customer is in the American region if for this particular customer uh, the default value is now EMEA because it's from the European region so it's working so we will need to do the same for the default properties of each of the the controls in this case for the country so we can copy the same function just to validate that this form is in edit mode and do some adjustments some specific adjustments in this case it's gonna be instead of regions it's gonna be countries remember we have a list of countries and the validation if where the title is gonna be equal to the country for this item right this is a lookup and we're gonna show the title value of the of the list of countries and let me do that you can see now that we are getting the default value and let me do the same for the industry so if we go here for the default value we can paste again the same validation but this time instead of region it's going to be industry well the list of industries right and we're going to validate and show only the industry based on the the value from the selected item so yeah the default value is showing correctly we can go back we can select a different customer let me for example select this customer from mexico uh, and no this was from italy and we see the country is italy the region is european region we can select another one this one for example is from the america region is from puerto rico and we can change the the industry for example this is the industry and this is going to be the country Chile we can click here and automatically update the values excellent okay guys that was all for today's video remember that if you like this content please it's really important for me that you subscribe and also to provide feedback through the comments so see you in our next videos bye